Mr. Speaker, uh, we came here to ask you why are you blocking immigration reform? It's been almost a year since the Senate Me? passed. Yes, you blocking? Yeah, you could bring it to a vote and you haven't. It's been, it's been almost a year since the Senate well, passed. Well, the issue of immigration reform. reform is an issue that I've talked about uh, for 18 months, starting the day after the 2012 election, and the fact that Congress needs to deal with this. Uh, and uh, uh, I've made it clear we're not going to deal with the Senate bill, a 1,300-page bill that no one has read. And we're not going to do it. Uh, I think that moving a, in a piece-by-piece -piece fashion uh, on this in a common-sense way is the way to do this. Uh, but the president, the president has responsibility here as well. And when he continues to ignore uh, Obamacare, his own law, 38 unilateral delays, he reduces the confidence of the American people in his willingness uh, to implement an immigration law the way we would pass it. So the president has to rebuild this trust if we're going to be able to do this. What Obamacare has to do with, with the immigration reform. It's, the Senate passed it almost a year ago, and you haven't moved on that. I just, many gave you, I, just gave, your vision on I just gave you an answer. There's nobody more interested in fixing this problem than I am. You can do it. But and the you haven't done it. Well, you can do it, Mr. Speaker. You can do it, and you really haven't done it. I appreciate your, your opinion. Thank you. Speaker, I just have a follow-up um, on immigration reform. Um, in about a half hour, Senators Durbin, Reed, and, and Schumer are going to call on you directly to schedule a vote. So let's assume you don't want the Senate bill. I mean, you're on the record for not wanting the Senate bill. Well, what about a step-by-step -step approach? I mean, nothing's been moving in that direction either. So what are you going to respond to them? Well, there are a lot of conversations going on amongst members on both sides of the aisle. But the president has a responsibility here uh, to show us that we can trust him to enforce uh, an immigration law the way it's passed. Uh, the, the president's going to have to take some actions. The president's going to have to demonstrate that we can trust him. Simple as that.